problem could have definitely been calibration. Because when I uh, when I connected the pedals yesterday, I didn't really calibrate them. I just hooked them up and started playing right away. Now it used to be with game controllers. Uh, I used to always calibrate them religiously whenever I connected them to a PC. Just because that's the way things were back in the Windows XP days. I'm a really difficult time keeping this Lambo straight. You're fourth in your class. One more place and you'll get in the top three. Now the big thing I was trying to correct yesterday was um, that it seemed like whenever I went into a turn, car would just like straighten up like even when I had the it would always try to straighten up like down the track like so not quite sure I know how to explain it but you know if I stopped if I if I didn't have any turn on the wheel like it, it was like it kept like seeking the center of the track Upset very easily. So I'm actually uh, third or fourth in my class right now, which isn't horrible. I'm not sure how much effort I'm going to put into fending people off either. I think this is almost like a test drive session of just trying to get the wheel and pedals to work. But as you can see, the nose is kind of floating around all over the place on this car. And these are with the default settings, so it's actually quite worse than it normally is. The car is very quick in a straight line, but just cannot really get on the throttle in a corner. I have to rely on my straight line speed to get out ahead of everyone and try and stay there. Now I am probably let's see. We're six hours into this race. No 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 no. Decent line through that turn. Now this car also does not respond very well to very quick. large volume inputs in terms of if you get pointed in the wrong direction you really have to take the speed off and address it because like the pace of the chicane is very slow of course the, the car's raw power probably it means I'm going significantly faster than I was going through there in the Porsche or the Pinot's in the GT3 class really have to be careful about, you know, applying a ton of throttle coming out of a turn. It also makes it worse when somebody bumps into you, so, you know, I kind of always try to avoid the AI, but they will get into you without a care. I may have had my positioning in the class incorrect. Maybe last in the GT2 class right now, I'm really not sure. I think there's six cars per class and three classes. Just really still trying to feel the car out on how much throttle I can put in coming out of a turn. So it's gonna be hard to outbreak and outcorner the AI. So in a straightaway, I've definitely got them beat. I'm trying to figure out where my where the right place to break is. 
I definitely have not quite figured that out yet. So, provided I don't get into a horrendous wreck, I may actually have enough time to finish this out before I need to shut this down. Yeah, I think I'm... Okay. I think I'm getting the feel for where, where I need to start my brake and how quickly I need to pump the brakes. I would really like some daylight too. Uh, this is a vehicle that I'm definitely nervous driving in the dark. It's like, uh, man, come on. Uh, that I don't need. So, right there. Yeah, what I just don't need right now is I don't need any help from the AI making things more difficult in terms of making physical contact. a pretty steep learning curve, but I think slowly and incrementally I'm catching on. Uh, so the racing game I plan on picking up today is a Dirt Rally, which uh, 